Greetings, I hope you're having an amazing day. We're on day 14 of the 30-day financial affirmation journal. And today our focus is building wealth God's way. Let's say our faith confession together. I build wealth God's way. I am open to all of God's possibilities for me. That in and of itself is a very powerful statement. It's saying, I'm yielding and submitting my life to the Father so that his plan can unfold into my life and take shape and bring in the wealth, the abundance, and prosperity that he has ordained for me. Uh, our scripture focus this morning is Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 and I'm going to read that to you out of the new living the NIV it says but remember the Lord your God for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth and so confirms his covenant which he swore to your ancestors as it is this day and so God blesses the works of our hands I always encourage people to decree and declare that their hands are blessed and empowered to prosper, that God is increasing them more and more. Amen. So that we don't look at it like it's our own ability that is causing us to kind of accumulate wealth. But we know that God is involved in our lives, in the areas that we involve him in. And so that's why we say, Lord, let thy will be done in my life as it is in heaven. Amen. So you surrender and submit your will over to the Father. And as he as you submit, God will begin to release ideas, concepts and witty inventions. He'll download strategies, he'll download answers to problems and you show up as the answer and then that will cause that answer to be solved in the marketplace. And as that answer is being solved in the marketplace, it draws income, it draws wealth, it draws prosperity. It brings in that legacy income so that you can be blessed to be a blessing, amen? And you can leave a heritage for your children, children, right? Uh, the reflection for today is to write about what wealth, um, building wealth God's way mean to you. So what does that mean to you? If you haven't really thought about what does building wealth God's way mean to you? This is a great time to reflect on that. Sometimes people will think that um, they separate God as it relates to money because they say, well, money is wicked. But the money doesn't say the money isn't wicked. All right. It's it's what's in the heart of the person who has the wealth, right? Money only amplifies who you are. So if you're wicked, you're gonna be more wicked. If you're selfish, you're going to be more selfish. You know, if you're greedy, you're going to be more greedy. But when wealth is in the hands of people that will yield and submit to God, then God can use that wealth in this earth realm to be used for the kingdom, to be used for good and not evil. All right. Now, our action step for today is to identify one ethical investment or saving strategy that aligns with your faith and start implementing. Right. So, Money, as I say, it's no bag that's going to fall from the sky. Now, I do remember one time, there was a few years back, may not have been a few, but it happened here uh, in Metro Atlanta where I live. There was an armored truck that got into an accident and then money, you know, was all over the place. All right. And so money was falling from the sky. All right. <laughs> so that was just that one time though, right? But for you, in order to have sustaining wealth in your life, is yielding and submitting your ideas, your plans, your hands, your talents, your strength over to the Father, and then pushing past those fears so that he can increase your life more and more and bring you that uh, abundant life that you desire. But it, it's going to involve and require you to be a part of that and to participate in it for that wealth to be sustaining. Amen. Don't just sit around waiting for someone to come rescue you. God is our divine rescue. And when he shows up on the scene, which he's on the scene with his children, because he's never 
going to leave you nor forsake you. You stand and do the things that are necessary to get yourself out of those financial ruts. And it takes one step, one decision, one action, one plan at a time. Amen. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for who you are today. We yield and submit ourselves to you for your plan for our lives for wealth. We thank you right now that your plans for us are good and not evil to give us an expected end and that we can hope in you. I thank you, Lord God, for what you are doing, what you're shifting and rearranging, that there is a radical transformation taking place in our hearts and our minds that's yielded and submitted unto your will, your plan, and your way. We thank you for the good things that are in store for us. We thank you for your goodness being seen in every area of our lives. We give you praise and we give you thanks, Lord God, that we're going to shake off and put aside those things which slow us down and so easily beset us. And we're going to run this race as you have ordained for us to run it. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we give you praise and we give you thanks. And we say amen. Hallelujah. You all have an amazing day today. If you have not purchased my book, the Live Out Your Faith 30-Day Financial Prayer Journal, feel free to go over to Amazon and you can place a copy and start on day one. But make sure that as you're going through the journal, you can use these videos as, as a reminder and a help as you're thinking about the prayer focus, the scripture, the reflection, and the action of the day, right? So you participate in it. You get involved because faith without works is dead. So there are some actions that you need to do to align with your faith to see the breakthrough in your finances that you desperately desire. You all have an amazing day. God bless.